Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today we're going to be doing the 10th Global Ultimate Clash. It's the GT Special Edition. Um, I already created all my teams. I'll just We'll just go through it and I'll show you which teams I use for which and hopefully this can like help you some way to get through it. So for, th for this first guy I just run movie bosses, so extreme agility. And then your secondary buff doesn't really matter. I run 50%, so just fill it out. So the Turtles gives 120% and the Bojack gives 50%. Blocking is not like super essential. This guy doesn't really output that much damage, so I'm actually not really too concerned about just moving some people around. Yeah, I fucked that up. I probably should have had Turtle Super Attack there. Yeah, I was just reading at it, so yeah, the the other Turtles, the movie boss lead, gives 150 and then I'm adding 50, so I'm having 200 total. It totally dominates this. It's like face roll, so... There you go, it's a very easy, very easy when you have 200%. Uh, this guy, I just run super tech, and I'm getting 200% again, 100 from him, 100 from him. So we got 200 again, this is another easy face roll, first level. I get it in one turn here. <laughs> Ooh, just barely missed. So the first time I played through this, on the third stage, there's an int boss. And I was saving an extreme and a super team for both. And I was using shadow dragons on this. But my super physical team against the int on the third stage just demolished it. So I'm just going to run my extreme team here against baby. Because the shadow, the shadow dragons was pretty iffy the first time I did it. Um, and I don't have the leads either, so it's just, I just run the cell in this Frieza for 190%. And I save these other physical characters, two are on the Giants team and then two are on the Shadow Dragons team. 
which are like reserves if I happen to fuck up. I don't really care about the super attack on the Raccoon. So this is good to get the super attack on um, Cell here. Blocks a lot of the damage. This baby can kind of be a pain in the ass. He does do like quite a bit of damage if he uh, happens to hit a guy that's not have any hidden potential on him. Dude, that Frieza attack, the, the Death Beam Finger, that's like one of my favorite animations in the game. Yeah, see, I wonder if I should not have blocked with Brawly there, because he took quite a bit of damage. That's what I was looking at there at the beginning of the turn. Just do that. Even if I fail with this team, I still have, like, a, you know, the backup Giants team and all that stuff to just finish Baby off. Like, they're... The Giants is slow, but they have the ability to take him on for quite a few rounds. Something like that. See, another issue with this team too is that I don't have like 10 out of 10 or 15 out of 15 super attack on all these guys. This one, full, the full power phrase, I might. Okay, I do have it. So, th yeah, it did help. <laughs> yeah, so that one's a little bit of, like, no joke. Definitely need a relatively good physical team to do that level. So I gotta run my B strength team, team against this thing. This is extreme. So I run the lead. I run this Frieza as a secondary. Freezer blocker. These. This. He's part of Shadow Dragons. So the trick with this guy, uh, Dr. Garrow, is you are not allowed to use super attacks. Or not super attacks, but like the key blast attacks. And so all these people that I am currently running here do not have key blast attacks except for the LR Frieza. This Piccolo sucks because I don't have any... Um, Oh, I still got a super attack on him, but I don't have any super attack buff on Piccolo, so it's not worth really having him super attack. It's more just eating orbs there. So again, this is like, this Vegeta doesn't have that much super attack, so I'm just going to save these orbs for next turn for Brawly. So one issue with this team is that it it's only key plus 5 from the leaders, and then Extreme usually has a tendency to not link and give you additional key. Do it like that. Between the Android and the Frieza normal attack, I think we'll get it here. Ooh, maybe not. Close. I know we can take a hit, so no, <laughs> nothing crazy will happen here. I don't think I could die regardless, but... What was I running for int here? I think I ran the super int team. So we'll go 120%, 120%. 
Oh yeah, I was running um yeah, I was running Giver just because like he's a new card and I wanted to use him. There's no rhyme or purpose to have him in here. You can sub him in for anything else. Anybody else. Not a huge fan of that Trunks card. Like it's nice that it changes the key orbs and links well, but its defense is not very good. Nice and easy. I don't even have that, um, the Fighting Force, the Goku and Vegeta card, the LR in one, so it's probably even easier with that. Frieza, this is the Brawler that gives 120, and then the rest of the career. What's nice about this team is it runs, it does a lot of healing. This Captain can use, like, Super strong too. I think I have like two paths unlock on him, so he's not like uh it's not rainbowed yet, but his defense is like really good for being like a relatively standard card. So this boo when he um when he attacks, he heals for 30% of the damage he deals, so the card got a lot better. The Frieza heals, the Boo heals, the Cell heals. Yeah, so I'm just going to move Frieza to the back of the rotation here so that we can get another Boo and Cell attack in. I hit stun with Boo too. <laughs> yeah, so I guess once you get him into this like stun locking cycle, it's super easy. And the, this Frieza just keeps boosting up. There we go. Get a group of, couple groups of six there, so yeah. Yeah, that was a shitty turn. I probably should have been more conscious about my key placement and usage there. Stun! 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 Stuns on top of stuns on top of stuns. That stuns for days. There's the six on the side there. 
Shame, because that probably hits really hard when he does hit, but... I guess just this match, it didn't work out. Oh, maybe you get it here. One more. Wow, I actually almost ran out of... turns. The damage output is low with this one. Six turns left. No, that's not really running out. It, I mean, it kind of stretched on a little bit, but that's just because I was fucking up my uh, key sphere management there. So my strength team is stupid. I just kind of literally put in all of the uh, LR cards. So 120, 120, bam, 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 bam. Oop, not just chunks. And the premise of this team is just to like put out crazy damage while not dying. Because he does smack you around a little bit. And that's better defense. And then I want to try to save red orbs. Not going to be able to do it, am I? I want to save red orbs for Vegeta and Vegito. So like these tickle, even like 90,000, that's good pop, so I'm going to try to kill this guy as quickly as possible. He caught me on a bad turn too, it's better to block all these with Vegito. It's nice if it's all clumped up and then Vegito can block them. Chunks in my purples. I should about do it. I think the first time I did it, I had my Vegito on seventh position in the rotation, so I had to go two turns without using him, and it got a little bit hairy. Like my health got a little bit down, because even this Super Saiyan Four Vegito will get, you know, smacked around if he doesn't count, especially if he doesn't counter the Super. Ooh, so close. I think I can just get away with, uh... Just get away with normal attacks here. I'll just do a super. I don't wanna... <laughs> I don't wanna chance it. Don't wanna chance it. Just do it. Goten's, uh... Super attacks relatively quick, so... There we go. I just blitz. I literally blitz that one with the best strength units that I have. This one is setting up for a uh, the fusion. So this is the go ten for one twenty, and then these guys give ninety. So I'm really only at two ten on this one. So it's a little bit lower. Good blocker. Good card. Good card. Good. And then I I can't remember what I stuck in here. I think I put in pan uh kale. Oh so something like that. So I'm getting, I'm getting 120 plus 90 on my normal physical character, so that's 210, and then one, 170 plus 120, so that's like the max on the fusion cards. That really sucks, so I can't super attack. Um, that's a bummer. I'm not going to be too obsessed about filling up his key. Need five key here. Fours. Not good. I'll just do four to get the super attack off, and then I'll give her. Is she gonna take the strength? I'll give her the physical. Cause her her super attack doesn't hit super hard, but she attacks twice. So. Wow, they got stunned too. Dude, he fucking me up. Oh shit. This is serious business. This guy this guy means serious business, man. He must be a businessman because he's serious businessman. Cause he's doing business, man. Yeah, I like this kale card. She links up with um Patora. 
Man, look at this. But he can get his counters off, right? So I can do something like this. Yeah, this is good. This is a better... What am I going to do here? I'm going to eat the reds. Could save these greens for um, the LR. Yeah, see, the Great Sandman card is just good blocker. They don't do a ton of damage, but it's a good defense. Oh, hit for a million. That's pretty good. The crit. Million on the crit. Ooh. It's the super attack you gotta watch out for. Two, give me another super attack. Yeah, nice. They're trying. He's trying, man. Alright, so they're a little dicey, because, like, the LR um, Goku Vegeta card usually just fucking owns there, because you can hit for 3 million plus. Or, like, I can hit for 3 million plus, rather. And I don't need- I don't think I even have a pathway unlocked on that card. Alright, so here's the final- final boss. For me, I just run Pure Saiyans. So... Pure Saiyans lead. Gives a 170. And then I follow it up with a 120 agility lead and this team is a little bananas too but he's not pure saints right no 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 why is he in here oh he's in there for the giants okay that's fine i like that i like that tapion card a lot i was gonna think about putting it in there but then i thought about it so it doesn't have a uh, pure saints but does that vegeta does the god vegeta give i don't know if it gives two agility or not i've never looked So this, this one sucks, because you can't move one of your characters gets locked, so your whole team has to be pretty decent here. Um, so I need four. Let's do this. 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 Yeah, this Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is just a boss. I think I'm one pathway short of unlocking him as a for a rainbow. I have this this super saiyan uh, wow. this god Vegeta uh, rainbowed, so he's really good. Should be able to take this hit here. Yeah, 80. It's not too bad. I think this team has somewhere like four and a half, like 450,000 health or something stupid. Or 26. Depends on who I'm running on the team, I guess. That's alright. I like this Super Saiyan 3 Goku at the end there, because he's got relatively high defense compared to these other cards. Oh, sweet, super, he got an extra attack off. Extra 2 million damage. It's not bad. Yeah, see, this is why you want to block that super attack there. Pretty good. Not completely fucked. Yeah, so this last fight is like really dependent on how good your the best agility team you can put together. It's pretty difficult. Like locking you in place, it sucks if you don't have like characters like in this lineup. So there you go, guys. Um, I hope this helps. These teams are not optimized at all. Um, you could definitely do this run with lesser characters and in a more optimized position or optimized teams. Um, I hope this kind of gives you an idea. You don't have to seal anybody on this, and you don't have to stun anybody, I don't think. 
The only one is you have to avoid Dr. Garrow. You can't use the key blast attacks. And then the last one, uh, Sin Shenron, he's going to lock one of your characters in place. So your team's got to be pretty uh, beefy. So I'll catch you guys next time.